Mrs. Bolin, can I get you anything? Coffee. Oh, you drink coffee at this hour? I don't sleep much anyway. You? I had an affair. You had an affair? I'm not proud of it, and, and it's over now, but that's why he was at the house, and that's why I couldn't say anything in front of my husband and my children. Oh. Well, okay then. Okay. Okay. Just out of curiosity, where'd you meet him? I'm just wondering where a nice lady like you meets an inner city gangbanger, PTA? Or is it like a speed dating thing? What's that website? Uh, it's just lunch. At a bar. What was he wearing? Jeans. What about you? Dress. Where'd you meet him? At a restaurant. You just said bar. A bar restaurant. They had food. What was the name? Lucky's. I bet they'd remember a pair like you. Who drove? You or him? Who drove? Um, we both did. What kind of car does he drive? Black BMW. It'd be registered. I'll check it. It might be a Cadillac. Maybe. Have a good night, Mrs. Bowen. It was a one-night stand. I had just found out that my husband was cheating on me with a child, more or less. And I was lonely and angry. And normally, sleeping with a complete stranger would repulse me. But it didn't that day. I dropped the kids off at school, and I went straight to the bar. Where was your husband? Screwing his secretary and losing all our money. Fair enough. We drank a little. And I invited him back to my house. We drank a little more. And then I realized what I was doing was insane. And I told him to go. And he kissed me. I kissed him back. He pulled my panties down and we screwed right on the kitchen table on the breakfast dishes. The kids had pancakes, blueberry, if you were wondering. It only happened once, and I've never seen that man again, and I don't plan to. Thank you for coming in. Mrs. Bowen. Just be careful who you bring into your home. I'm tougher than I look. 